Yeah. Well. Good evening, teacher. Well, hello. Hello, hello teacher. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Glad you're nice. glad y'all are here being punctual. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. We still have about a minute or two before we begin. Maybe I think it's like 758 or 759, something like that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, I, 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 pre I prepare uh, an example for the last exercise. All right, great. We're going to work on that uh, more in depth today. And yeah, I will go ahead and tell me now, Rolando. Okay. Um, for example, I told a no to in for this door. I what? I told enough, enough okay. to, I'm, to in for this door. I, I'm tall enough. I'm tall enough. I'm tall enough. Excellent. I'm tall enough yes. mm -hmm. to in for this door. Uh, another. Okay, hold on. This, to, to in? This, to enter. To, to, to en enter. Enter. Yes. Okay. Enter. To enter, enter through this door. Enter. All right. To this. Okay. To, to enter this. to this door. All right. To through. So through this door. To enter to porque va a pasar through the door. Through. Through. Okay. Not to. Through. It's through. All right. I'm tall enough to to enter through this door. Yes. Okay. You can say you can you can also use instead of enter you can say pass para pasar right you can also use pass pass through the door right you can use that other uh, other um, other word also okay but very good very good you use an adjective very good yeah and, and, and I have a a negative form all right this this cup is not big enough for my head for your what head. For your head, hair, hell, mm. H E A D. It's not correct. H E A T. Yeah. Oh, okay, for para el calor. No. The side, the side of the cup. The, this cup is not big enough. For my head, because it's it's short. It's it's not. It's the size is not according to my head. Okay, it's but you say you oh, say what? cup. Usted está diciendo taza. Uh -huh. Cup. You're talking about and a cap. C a cap. 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 Oh, cap. Yeah. cap. Yeah. I okay. I I write fine, but I can I don't. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. This is what you were pronouncing. That's why I was confused. You said cup. Uh, cup. Yeah. Cup. Right. <laughs> and then, what, yeah. Even yeah. Freddy was uh, like, "Hey, what's going on?" Right. <laughs> what you're trying to say is cap. 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 Okay. La, la, cap. La gorra, cap. right? Yeah. Cap. Yeah. All right. Okay. For my head. All right. Head. Head. A head. H e a d. H e a d. Yes. Head. And, okay. All right, but very good, Rolando. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Yes, that Thank is you. correct. Thank you. That is correct, right? Just a little very bit nice. of pronunciation, but you you got it correct. You use the grammar correctly with enough adjective plus enough, right? Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, we're gonna we're going to practice today more in depth in regards to um, enough, and not only with with the adjective, right? You you also you can also use them with nouns, but we're not gonna we're not going to focus too much on nouns because we're going to do that again, all right? According to the, uh, the agenda of this uh, Insta Four manual, uh huh. Ready? Um, it comes with in, in it comes in it fills in in a noun or an adjective. Which one? Had. Hat? Like, hat. All right. S A T is a it's a no no H A D. Hat. Okay. Okay. Hat, okay. hat is is not it's a it's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. Yes. Uh, it's the past. The past of half. 
Yeah, it's the password has. So, so uh, we, we're not able to use it right now because in that it, it doesn't belong as an adjective. Okay, but we're going to use them. We can use them as verbs. And I'm yeah. going to I'm going to show you that today also. So yeah, we're going to work with that also. Oh okay. All right. So, so you can say I have. I, I, I have, have enough. I have enough. Uh, uh, enough what? Uh, apples. Let's say you have enough apples, right, for everyone to give her, or you have enough pizza, or anything. You can use uh, enough the verb have and then enough. And then you can use countable or uncountable nouns, right? I have enough money, right? I have, but you're using the have first, the verb, and then enough. Yes. Yes, we're going to see that also, Fredis. Yes. All right, very good, very good. Let me see. Well, hello. Hello, Diana. We missed you yesterday. Hello, good evening. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Welcome, welcome. Now, today, like I mentioned yesterday, we're going to continue with a little bit of grammar. We were working on grammar yesterday, and we will do the continuation today. A more, more relaxed, more comfortable. Right? Yesterday, we ran out of time, but... We have not ran out of days, right? We still have time. We still have days to go. So we will continue with the enough. And remember, I mentioned yesterday that I amplified not just enough, but two, using the word two. And, and I showed you the difference yesterday, but I'm going to, we're going to review it a little bit more today and we're going to do some exercises we're going to do a worksheet and then you are going to create your own your own like i was doing yesterday and just like rolando did a few minutes ago right? he gave me his own sentences right let me see good evening oh hello jackie how are you Excellent. Thank All you. All right, great. Mm -hmm. I like the little tree you have in the back. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it, Thank <laughs> you. All right. I guess that's all they have in apples, right? <laughs> Strawberry, I don't mm, know, right? No. Just, it's just it, a, a flowers, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Cerezo tree. Okay. What did you say? Flor de cerezo. Ah, <laughs> so it's from cherry. Japan. Cherry mm -hmm. tree. Ch cherry, cherry. Okay. Yes, cherry Thank tree. Thank you. All right, great. Let me need, let me see. All right. So we have here Blanca, Edwin, Aries, Roberto, Francisco, Miguel, Diana, Freddy, Abigail, and Janari, Carlos. Okay. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Rolando oh, okay, and Fabio okay. and Jarvin. All right, yes, I can hear you. Okay, it was already Thursday, right? We're almost ready for the weekend. Are you ready for the weekend? Any plans? Any birthdays? No? Yeah, Diana saying, yeah. Blanca, like, yeah, party time. Say Blanca, right? Tomorrow so, must, it's my birthday. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Yay, if you want to send me a gift, guys, <laughs> feel said, free to do it. Please, here's my account, here's my uh, Bitcoin account, everything, right? <laughs> Just scan it here, right? <laughs> Ta -da, right? Gift cards, on? right? <laughs> feel free to do That's it. That's why she's connected. Uh, everything, right? Francisco, you put a little face right there. What happened? <laughs> uh, Francisco. Uh, Do you accept Bitcoins? <laughs> there you go. Bitcoin. I'm gonna give you Panda. All right. <laughs> Teacher, and, and how do you oh, say the other niño in English? The, the other kid. The other oh. kid or the other, if you're going, or the other child. The other child. boy, oh, right? 
you have different terminologies. Okay. Okay. Remember that uh, if you use the other child, that, that there is no gender, okay? There's no gender there. It could be a boy or a girl. But if you say specific, it will be a boy. And if it's a girl, you will say a girl, okay? That will be the only uh, difference if you're going to be specific. But just in general, you can say child. What is the plural of child? Is it children. child? Children. Okay. children. Very good. Excellent. Children. Excellent. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Very good. All right, let me see. I'm going to I'm going to share here a screen. Okay, today's the last day of September, right? We begin October. Get ready for Halloween, right? So it's not the same here, right? If you ever, yeah, it's probably not the same now as it was back then, but Halloween used to be a, a very, uh, very joyful event. It was very joyful, it was very, very traditional, right? Freddy, do you remember, did you ever go trick-or-treating or seen someone trick-or-treating in the United oh. States? <laughs> Yeah, the kids when <laughs> when they go to the house trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, right. Very uh, very traditional, right? Okay. Um, this is the the agenda for today. Okay. And can you read, please? Yana, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can you read, please? Adjective plus enough an adjective plus two word shit. <laughs> Is that <Okay>. the word? <laughs> no, okay, okay. Adjective plus enough and adjective plus two. Uh-huh. And then worksheet. A worksheet. Okay, worksheet, individual activities and group activity. Components of place and promotion strategies. Very Thursday, good. September and 30th, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate three, class 11. <laughs> okay, very good. Class, this is class 11, right? This is the 11th class and today's the last day of September, Thursday, September 30th, right? So we're finalizing the month and we're almost midway through the module. So we're going to focus with the adjective plus enough and then in the using the adjective plus two, right? And a worksheet, I have a worksheet for you and we're going to do individual activities and then a group activity if we have time. Now, yesterday I was, let me check this real quick. I showed you this yesterday, but I'm going to, let me see this. I'm going to change it. Not bad. There it is. Okay, class. I hope you're ready. I hope you reviewed a little bit of your module and I hope you you are ready for this grammar part. It's not difficult, okay? There's just some little things that you have to be able to understand and acquire the abilities necessary to speak in different forms and in different ways, using verbs, using um, adjectives and using nouns with enough and also differentiate between two and adjective versus adjective plus enough. A little bit of similarities, but different concepts. Now I'm going to begin, I have to do the attendance first. Okay. So if you can go while I get this, you can go to page number 
Page number 20. Page number 20 of your module. It should look like this. This should be the page right here on the screen. Page number 20. As you can see, the information is very short. And I have provided you with a lot here, if you can see the screen. Okay, a lot of extra information with two and enough. And just like Freddy was talking about the verb earlier, here it is, Freddy. All right, kind of read my mind, right? So there it is right there. And then with a noun also. So we're going to focus on that. All right, let me take the attendance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Fabio? Present? I'm just making sure you're here. They called you today, right? Administration called you? Yes. Okay. I'm seeing here. Okay, they also called you too, right, Diana? Yeah, I'm seeing about 10 this morning. All right. All right. Let me see. Yeah, remember that if you miss, they will call you. I guess that. Yeah. All right, let me see. Ladies. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the report right here. All right, let me see. All right, Abigail. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Beatriz. Beatriz, okay, no answer. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda. Brenda, okay, no answer. Carlos? Carlos? All right, I see you right here. I can barely hear you, Carlos, but I know you're there. I see you. Diana? Present. Okay, thank you. All right, and Edwin? Present. All right. Flor? Flor. Okay, no answer. Francisco? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Fredis? I'm here. All right. Let me see, Glenda? Glenda? Okay, no answer. Iris? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, Jackie. I'm here. Thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, no answer. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio? I know you're here. Okay, thank you. Compartir. Okay. Rolando? I'm here, teacher. Okay. All right, let me see. And Janari. I'm here. All right, thank you. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right. All right, great, awesome. Okay, class, get comfortable, get ready. And I hope you drinking some water, getting ready for this. Now, yesterday I showed you this, right? I showed you some examples of the usage and adjective plus enough. 
okay, an adjective plus enough. We already know that enough means sufficient or as much as required, the correct number or amount. Okay, this was just basic what we did yesterday. The adjective, let me put this right here. The adjective before enough. Adjective, 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 right? Before enough. Now we did this yesterday. We reviewed this yesterday. So we're not going to do it again. What we will do is go straight to where we left off. Okay. This is where you have to be analytical and let's read. Let's first look at some of the different ways that you can formulate enough. Okay, you have three here, right? And then you have the negative form, not. Let me see. Edwin. Yes, teacher. Okay, adjective plus enough. Adjective where adjective plus enough. Ah. Right here, where my little red the, the, the screen. Can you see the screen? Adjective plus enough and two. Yes, I see it right now. Okay, where did you? Right here, where my red dot is. Adjective plus enough. Are you old enough to vote? Okay, the very good. The exercise was easy enough for them to com complete. Very good, excellent. Here's an example using the adjective plus enough. Are you old? If you notice in blue is the adjective and then enough, okay? Are you old enough to vote? And this is a question. Are you old enough to vote? If it just affirmative, you will say you are old enough to vote, right? But this is just a question when you're asking someone else. And then the next one says the exercise was easy enough for them to complete. Adjective plus enough. Adjective plus enough. Second part. Um, Abigail. Bear plus enough. You have done enough for today. Make sure you drink enough to stay hydrated. 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 Very good, excellent. As you can see, we can use the verb also. And some of you were giving me this yesterday, right? Yesterday, some of you gave me verb plus enough, right? Like I like I said yesterday, you were not you were not incorrect, right? But we were doing the adjective plus enough. But today we're going to amplify it with the verb plus enough. And also, what do we have here? When we use nouns after enough, let me see, Jackie. Okay, enough plus noun. I made enough copies for them. He has enough money to buy a new car. Very good. Now you might look, look here and say, well, teacher, there's a verb here also, right? Yes, there is, but there's a noun behind it, right? Versus here, it's only a verb and enough. This, these are not nouns. If you look at these, right? These are not nouns. They're like prepositions, okay? But you use the verb before and then enough. Here, you also have a verb, but you also have nouns after enough. Remember, we saw nouns recently, right? Countable and uncountable. So you can use both. It doesn't matter here, okay? You can use either or. You can say, 
enough money or you can say enough oranges, enough apples. It doesn't matter. You can use both. You can use countable or uncountable nouns with enough and a noun. Okay, in the negative form, there's also a part that is negative. It is. Okay, teacher, and not, no. Mm -hmm. Can you read the definition right here? Uh, equal less than necessary, equal less than sufficient, and equal not the correct. Correct. The correct amount. The correct. Uh, sorry, no, I know C. Okay. Can you see? I can, see. You I can see the the last. Okay. One. Um, Freddy, mm -hmm. Diana, can you see the bottom part? No? I see until they are in enough plates for. Can you read not the correct amount? Not the correct. And that's it. Okay. Not enough. We don't okay. have enough time. They are in enough plates for, and that's it. All right. Let me let me move it up a little bit. Thank you for. Okay. It is. I will fix this. Okay. Let me fix it so you can you can read it. Let me see. Okay. Okay, Iris, can you see it now? Not the correct? Yes, teacher. Okay. I can right. see. Okay, so it's like not the correct amount. Not the correct amount. Okay, very good. Can you do the first one, please? The not a plus adjective plus enough. Mm -hmm. The rock isn't strong enough. Max can't go to school because he is not old enough. Very good. As you can see, we're using negatives here, okay? Not enough is less than necessary, less than sufficient, or not the correct amount. In this case, not the correct age, right? <laughs> not the correct age to, um, to go to school, right? So that is an example of using not plus adjective plus enough. Let's continue, Edwin, with the verb. Uh, word teacher. With the verb. Right after it is, what she just read. Uh, uh, no verb plus enough. Yes. Do you want me to read the examples too? Yes. He doesn't study enough. We have training enough and we lost the game. We hadn't. We hadn't. We hadn't. We hadn't. Training enough and we lost the game. Very good, right? Okay. So in other words, had means we had not trained uh -huh. enough, right? As participle, enough, and we lost the game, right? So we can use a negative plus a verb plus enough, okay? And here are examples. Thank you, Edwin. Um, Thanks to you, teacher. All right, great. Miguel? Not enough plus a noun. Okay. Not enough plus a noun. No. We don't have enough time. Uh, there aren't enough place for everyone. Very good, very good. So as you can see, we have enough, and then we have nouns behind it, okay? 
whether it could be, remember I told you, it could be countable or uncountable. You can use either or. There is no specifics in grammar in relation to using countable or uncountable because you can use either or. There's no problem with that. There's no specific structure. So you can use countable or uncountable right after enough with negative, just like we do here in a positive way, okay, in a negative way. Now, what about two, two, let me see, Blanca. Yeah. Can you read, please? Okay. It's not enough. Huh? No, Plus, here we're, we use. We used to. We used to to mean more than sufficient or more. Sufficient less than or. Necessary. Sufficient, two plus sufficient, sufficient or sufficient more or uh, it's separate yeah it should be separate or more or less than necessary two plus adjective uh, example mm -hmm. it's too late to stop him jerry was too young to watch the movie very good All right when we use two we're talking about muy okay muy here enough Suficiente o lo suficiente, okay? That is the difference, all right? Jerry was too young, muy joven, right? Jerry was too young. When we use to, the word to, not T-O, T-O-O, okay? Plus an adjective. That is the structure. Look at enough. The adjective comes first, then enough. Ven la diferencia? Do you see the difference? When we use the adjective with two, it comes after two. Two, young. Enough, the adjective comes first, then enough. Okay, that is, that is a key, key element that you cannot forget. Because when we do this activity, that's where you're going to put it to use. All right, don't forget that. I'm giving you that tip. Right, continue, please. Um, ta, 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 Janari. Okay, teacher. Too many plus comfortable noun. Okay. Example. There are too many people on this train. There's nowhere to sit. Okay. Uh, too much plus uncomfortable noun. Example, you have too much money. Give some to me. Verb plus too much. Example, he complains too much. He has, he has such a negative attitude. All right. So here are just different ways you can use to, but we're going to focus more on to plus adjectives. All right. I just gave you this extra so you can have uh, more information we're using two, but when we use two, we use the word many and much with countable and uncountable nouns, okay? Or a verb here. But we're going to focus here with two, with the adjectives. Enough, we're going to focus with all of these, okay? Because the main objective of the manual is enough. Not this one, but I just gave it to you as extra. Okay, so we're going to focus here and all this. Now, I want someone to give me an example using two plus adjective, and you cannot use the ones that are on the screen, okay? Nada de aquí que está en la pantalla, please don't. All right, I want you to create your own, all right? I want you to create your own using two 
plus adjective. And then here's an example right here, okay? There are two examples right here. You cannot use this, but use them as a guide. And I want you to give me one using the adjective plus enough. I'm going to give you like a minute or two I to, have, all right? I have one with the example of two plus adjective. Okay, go ahead, Blanca. It's too clean on this house. I don't want to mess up. <laughs> okay, it's too clean in this house. In, okay, in this house. Very good, Blanca, good job. I, teacher. Mm -hmm. I will try. Um, I have to. I have to get up. Mm, it's too late. Yeah, not two, but two. You mm -hmm. using you using this one. Uh huh. And we we need to use this one. Two. It's too late. Okay, uh, because you you, okay, okay. you you have to give me two plus an adjective. What what you gave me is, I ha just a simple sentence. I have uh -huh. to get up, and that is a, a infinitive using the present simple of a verb. Uh -huh. That's it. But there's no adjective, and there's no to. Or so, maybe uh, it's too late for eat dinner. Ah, very good. Oh, I see here. It's too late to eat dinner very good excellent and i want to i want to say something this is a very good example janari why mm -hmm. because the majority of times the majority of time la mayoría de veces you use the infinitive after you use two plus adjective the same with enough okay mm -hmm. you normally use infinitives okay so if you use infinitives with that they go they go perfect just like janari just did all right so just keep that in mind you can also use uh, prepositions also but we normally use to as a infinitive to eat to work to drive so very good example, Janari. Excellent, because I was going to talk about this and you you did it. Perfect. Great. All right, Francisco. Yes, teacher. It's correct if I say, for example, today the groceries are too much expensive. Okay are too much all right mm. the groceries are too much expensive. too are too expensive mm. okay Two plus adjective, okay? It's incorrect, use too much. Because when you use too much, you, you want to use, um, it, it has to be, if you notice here, you have to use a verb, but we're using two plus mm -hmm. an adjective. So you do not okay. need to put too much expensive because when you use two, muy caras. Mm -hmm. All right. There's no need. It's not necessary for you to use too much because you are you are using two already. Okay. Ah, okay. So that, okay. That is that is that is the reason why you're using mm -hmm. two plus adjective. Ah, okay. You do not use too much then an adjective. No no no. So this mm -hmm. is perfect right here. Okay. Sería como okay. redundar. Exactly right. Ah, okay. Pues decir, está, está muy mucho right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Muy yes. mucho caro, right? Muy caro, sí. right? That's, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> so very good, but very good, very good, Francisco. Good effort, right? 
This is the this is the the advantage that you get when you practice error, practice error, and then you get it correct. Okay. Okay. Very Very thank you, Tashifa. Yeah, no problem. Okay. This is trial and error, right? This is all about learning. Do not worry about making okay. mistakes. Do not worry. Yes, Carlos. Okay, I can barely hear you. I don't know if it's me or everyone else. Can you hear Carlos? No. You sound I like you're like. You like Teacher, I can hear you either. Okay, either. you see. Okay, Carlos, can you speak up, please? Can you put the microphone by your. Barely. I can barely. I can barely hear you, Carlos, but I'm going to try to listen to you. Go ahead. Okay, let me do something. Okay. Okay, now can you hear all me? All right, all right. Now you're good. Now you're good, Carlos. Okay, okay. Teacher, I have a question. For example, we can say, uh, for example, they are, they are too intelligent for to be here, for example. Okay, they it's are, the right yes, they are too intelligent. For to be here. Mm, no, no, for two. No. Two. To two. be here. To be here. Yes. Okay, and it, it could be the same that if I say, for example, they are so intelligent to be here. Yes, you can use so. You can use can so, use but it's, it's remember, different. all right, remember that so, so is, is similar to two, right? They're similar because they quantify, right? They, they quantify the adjective, right? But so is a word that is used universally, all right? It's like... Um, it's used, it's, it's common English, okay? It's just regular common English when you use so, 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 and you can use so for almost everything, all right? For a lot of different ways of speaking. But when you use words like to, you are being a little bit more uh, technical, all right? Okay. So you can okay. use so, it's not incorrect, right? But so yeah, becomes... becomes so, so. So in Spanish is así, entonces. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, yes. So is, it has a, it's, it's a universal word. Yo le puedo llamar así, una palabra universal. You can use it for different, different ways and different forms. But this one is a little bit more, uh, in a more academic way. Okay. So it's like easy form to speak English. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I have met many people, even teachers, that they use so for everything. Okay. So, so we so, right? And as you know, so, right? And it's like, come on, God, right? <laughs> but it's not incorrect. It's not incorrect to use it, right? But it becomes common because we use it in different areas that we, bec we become so familiarized with it that we use it every time we speak right so if you can avoid and use other words that are more technical then you become a better speaker more vocabulary you amplify your speaking skills and your vocabulary skills okay okay thank you teacher no problem but that that can be correct you can use so there also okay good job good job carlos anyone else anyone else so we can continue Okay, let's continue then. Very good. Let me see. Ah, I will leave it there. Let's look at this. Look at this. You have here, uh, I'm not going to read. Mm hmm. Rolando, can you read, please, up here in the corner? Okay. Two enough. 
choose the correct word. Okay, very it? good. Yes, okay. choose the correct word. Yes. I, can you do the first one for the class? Yeah. I can't do this test. It's too difficult. Okay, I can't do this test. It's too, too difficult. difficult. Very good. Remember, two plus adjective, right? Adjective, yeah. Yes, very good. You cannot use enough here because why? Because the adjective yeah. has to come here, right? Yeah, I, yeah. And it's afterwards. So this is totally incorrect based on the structure that I just demonstrated. So remember yes. that tip that I gave you, right? This, this is where it's going to come to use. So yeah. I can't do this test. It's too, too difficult. Difficult. Very good. Excellent. Now, this is what I want you to do. This is grammar. So in grammar, there it is. So, right? In grammar, <laughs> you have to also write. You also have to write. Because if you only write the answer on your notebook, when it's time to look at this at another time, you're probably going to say, oh, no, I only have answers, but I don't have the complete sentences, right? And you won't have like better, uh, a good memory about it. So let's write the sentences and you're going to write the correct word. So I'm going to demonstrate right here. Let me clear this. For example, number one, I can't do this test. It's too difficult. There it is. These are short sentences. They're not like long sentences. They're not, right? Only eight or 10 words minimum. So this is the correct answer. That's how I want it, okay? And I want you to underline, underline or color, however you want. Underline, color, highlight, if you have highlighters, you can do it. I want you to highlight the two or enough or underline it, okay? What is underline? ¿Qué significa underline? Very good, excellent. So you're going to underline two. And if you're going to use enough, I want you to underline enough, right? Whichever one is correct, right? So that will be number one. Can someone do number two? And then we, I'll let you do this on your own individually. Number two, who wants to do number two? Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. All right. He wants to buy this dress, but he hasn't got enough money. Okay. She wants to buy, buy. Buy. Yes, this dress, but... She hasn't okay. she got hasn't. enough money. Okay, she hasn't got enough, right? Enough money. All right, great. That will be number two. That will be number two. You're going to do one through 10. One through 10. And this is going to be in class activity number number six in class activity number six okay class i want you to to do this on your own individually and when you finish i want you to send it to me to my personal number not to the group but to me okay 
So we already did two. All you have to do is eight more. All right. You send it to me. We have to choose the correct word. That the, that's the words. That's a sentence. Yes. Okay. Just like I did one and two right here. One what did you two. say me? The, this is how I wanted the same way that I did it here. One and two on the screen. One and two. You're going to do three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to write a complete sentence with the correct one, whether it's two or enough. And then okay, I want you to, me. and I want you to underline or highlight. For example, this one will be enough. I want you to either highlight it like this or underline it the same way with two. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Do not send me just the answers. All right. No me mande no mala respuesta. I want you to write the complete sentence. And I want in a notebook. Okay. Lo quiero en un cuaderno. I do not want it in in a in digital form, in, in text. So I want you to write it, please. Okay. From one to 10. Yes, I read, we already did one and two, right? So you already yeah. got the answers for that one. I want you to do one through 10, and I want you to write it in your notebook. I hope you have a notebook for this class, okay? Because we're going to do another activity like this um, next week. It is always good to keep a notebook for every module. That way you have notes. And as you advance, you can always go back and say, oh yeah, I remember we saw this. And then you can review some things. Because let me tell you what happens when you send a text. When you send me the text, later on, you won't find it, right? Or you delete it, your messages, or it automatically corrects it. If you have a, if you have your phone set in Spanish, when you try to write in English, it's going to to distort the words, and you're going to send me something incorrect. So that's why I I, uh, I suggest you write it in a notebook, and then send me a picture. If you have any questions or a word you do not understand, please let me know. Okay. Feel free to ask. Let me see. Rolando. Yes, you can be. Rolando. Yes, teacher. Yeah, no problem. I'm reading your message. What message? The one that you sent me? Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. No, it's not you. It's uh, Fabio. Yes. Fabio? Yes. Yeah, I hear you. Roberto, Fabio. <laughs> All right. Rolando, <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> yeah, right. I was. All right. It's so, me because I see you are. Yeah. You are, you are. Yeah, so I saw Roberto. Ro, Ro, right? Roberto, Rolando, right? But yes, uh, Fabio, um, no problem. Yes, I saw that. Um, I saw, mm -hmm. I saw, I saw the message on the, when I was, Telling you that they called you today, right, Fabio? Yes. All right. I saw the message, but I didn't want to say it, right? Okay. But I, that's, I that's understand. Fine. I understand. Okay.
you type very fast. You write very fast. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you finish, you can do the second part if you want. Okay. All right. The second part right here. All right. If you finish, you can do the second part. We're going to do the second part in class together, but if you like to do it advance a little bit more, Fabio, you can do the step part, the second part. Okay. He did it by by pen, by pencil. Hmm? The exercise because that no, was I, uh, in computer. <laughs> oh. Very good, Fabio. <laughs> you don't have not one mistake. You have really? zero. You have zero mistakes. Everything uh, is just the spacing, the commas, the periods, the apostrophes. Everything is perfect. Teacher. Even the the numbers. All right. All right. Complicated is an adjective. Excuse me? Complicator okay. is an adjective. Yes. Yes, thank yes. you. Oh, you were talking about number five, huh? Rolando? Number five, are you stuck? Yes. All right, yeah. yeah. It's an adjective, yes. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the tip that I gave you, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yes. Okay, I got Edwin, I got your Okay, I got yours, Jackie, thank you. Okay. Miguel. All right. All right, good writing, good writing. Okay, Janari. Okay, great. Okay, Freddy's, I got yours also. All right. All right, all of you underlined it, highlighted. Yeah, very good. So I got two, four, one, two, three. I got one more. I got seven already. Very good. 
All right, and you have your little notebooks. All right, Kelly. <laughs> How is fine, Diana? It's fine. Nice, <laughs> Kelly. All right. Okay, if you finish, those of you that finish, if you, if you want to begin on the next part, you can. I'm going to give everyone like maybe three more minutes, and then we are going to do the second part together as a class. Okay. Okay, Blanca, thank you. Two, four, six, eight. I have eight here. And I'm going to take the picture. All right, I have 17 students, so I have about 50%. I ha I'm gonna have, I, I'm gonna take the picture. Okay, no problem. Okay, it is. Okay, it is remember to underline two or enough or highlight. It is? Sorry, teacher. Okay. I send it. I will send it. The correct. Okay, no problem. Okay. Um, the same thing that I told Iris, Carlos. Yes, teacher. Remember, you're supposed to underline. You only underline one and two, but you didn't do the rest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mm -hmm. All right, you're supposed to do the same, right? Subrayar la en todas, enough or two. Okay, I'm going to give about one more minute and then we're going to begin. Y pues los que me mandaron la, ahorita la actividad <clears throat> lo voy a ir anotando. I will be writing the names of everyone who sent it. Okay, I just received Rolando. All right. Charvin. All right, great. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Thirteen and how many are here? Okay. Seventeen. So I'm missing four. Cuatro de ustedes todavía no me lo mandan. All right. No problem. Let's continue. Okay, all right, I already got yours, Abigail. Thank you. Yes, it's better. Great. Okay, I will write your names. If you send it to me, I will put you as completed activity number six. Okay, this was in class activity number six. All right, so let's continue. Let me clear. Okay, we did one and two. What is number three? I'm going to call on Edwin. Number three, please. We're going to do a little bit of speaking and pronunciation analysis. Okay, number three is you need another computer. This one isn't fast enough. Excellent. Isn't fast enough. Very good. Okay. Number four. Perfect. Number four. Um, 
I can read. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, number four. My little brother can't lift this bag because it's too heavy. Very good. Too heavy, right? Two plus the adjective afterwards. Excellent, excellent. Number number five, Rolando. Okay, number five. Nobody can solve this problem because it is too complicated. Complicated, complicated. Complicate, complicated. Excellent, good job. Very Thank good, you. perfect. Number six. Um, <laughs> Jarvin. Say my name. Number six, please. Okay, my family will move to a new house because this one, it is big mm -hmm. enough. Isn't. Isn't. Yes. Yes, isn't. Isn't big enough. Excellent. Perfect. Good job, Jarvin. Perfect. Number seven, um, uh, Abigail. My brother failed his exam because he was too lazy. Excellent. Very good. Too lazy, right? Too, then the adjective. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Um, let me see. Glenda. Glenda. Hello, Glenda. Hi. Can you continue, Hi. please? Can you repeat me, please, the indication? Okay. Uh, can you read number eight, please? It's too and out dangerous to climb. Okay. Three. okay, you're supposed to use one of these. Seleccionar una de las dos. Y con las dos juntas, una nomás. Por favor, Glenda, dele de nuevo. Please do it again. It's enough dangerous to climb this tree. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, remember the... Dangerous is the adjective, right? Yeah. So what comes after what comes before the ad before the, the adjective? Two, Two or enough? Two. Okay, very good. So okay. read it again, please. It's too dangerous to climb to climb up this tree. All right, yes. Very good. Excellent. I see. Very good. Thank you. All right. Great. Great. Excellent. Good job. Number nine. Um, Freddy's. Yes. Number nine. Okay. I'm going to read it from my notebook. All right. Great. I don't like the weather in winter. It isn't warm enough. That's very good. Perfect. It isn't warm enough, right? Diana, number 10. Um, my friends don't want to walk home because it's too far. Yeah, it's too far, right? Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right, let's go to part B, the second part, really, right? It says complete the sentences with two or enough. Let's begin. We have a question on here, the first one, and it's going to Jackie. Jackie. Okay, number one. Can I open the window? It's too hot. Yes, perfect, right? Too hot. Two plus adjective. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Blanca. Y luego Miguel. Then Miguel. Uh, Blanca. Okay. Please, can you turn up the CD player? It isn't loud enough. Excellent, right? Adjective and then enough. Very good. Very good. You're following the grammar structure that I taught at the beginning of the class. Perfect. Very good. Let me see who raised their hand right here. Um, me, me, teacher. Okay. Carlos, then Rolando, then Diana. Carlos. Okay. Okay. My, my ladder isn't long and now I can't reach the, the top shelf. Okay. I can't. Can't. I, I can't reach. Okay. 
to the top cell. Very good, so. excellent, perfect, very good. Rolando, Diana, Diana Abigail. Uh, number four. Yes. Can you read that again, Jane? This reading isn't good enough. Excellent, very good, very good. Diana. Number five. Mm -hmm. My bag is too small. I can't fit all these books in it. Okay, in it, in it, in it. All right, let me see. Next is Abigail. Thank you, Diana, very good. Can you speak out, please? Your voice is too soft. Yes, too soft, right? Very good, perfect. Okay, all right, go ahead. Uh, number number seven, today's homework isn't too easy. My five-year-old sister can do it. Okay, it's too easy. Too easy, okay. Is, right, is too easy. Is. Very good, very good. Miguel. Okay, uh, number eight, could you all stop talking, please? It is not quiet enough. Very good, it's not quiet enough, right? Very good. Adjective plus enough. Perfect. Um, let me see. Jennifer, can you do the next one, please? Today, homework is too easy. My fear, mm, my uh, We did that one already. Oh, it's the number eight. Mm, okay. What uh, number are we, class? Que numero vamos? Nine. Nine, yes. Nine. Yeah. All right. Can I switch the eating on? It's too cold. Excellent, yeah, it's too cold, right? Ooh, right, it's too cold, right? It's too cold here in San Miguel, right? It's too cold. <laughs> All right, and let's finish, please. Um, it is. Teacher, sorry, the number 10. Mm -hmm. This computer is old and slow. It's not fast enough. Enough. Ex enough. Yes. enough. Very good, very good. This computer is old and slow. It's not fast enough, right? It's not fast enough. And we all want fast computers, right? Very good, very good. Now, that was a little easy, right? Yeah, that was just to get you, you know, get your mind stimulated into this dif the differences between enough and two and how we use them in different ways with the uh with the adjective but let me take this away all right let me see do, 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 do. A little challenge. This is just a little challenge to see. All right, we're going back to the same slide. Do you see these three sentences? All right. This is just a little challenge, all right? Can you read the instructions, please, Beatriz? Welcome, Beatriz. Thank you, teacher. Change two sentences into one. Sentences. Sentences into one. I'm very tired. I can drive. I'm too tired to drive. Okay. You notice here, two sentences, and you have to combine them to make one using two or enough. All right? I'm very tired. I can't drive. I'm too tired to drive. Continue, please, Beatriz. Next example. The, okay. The weather isn't good. We can go out. We can't. We can't go out. The weather isn't good enough to go out. Very good. You notice the mixture of two sentences, right? The weather isn't good, period. We can't go out, period. That means there's two sentences. 
right? The weather isn't good enough to go out. There are three sentences here. Can you combine them to make one? That is the challenge. It says the man isn't strong. He can't lift the heavy weight. What is lift? Levantar. Yeah, very good. Lift the heavy weight, right? Tom is scared. He can't sleep. The coffee is hot. I can't drink it. Challenge. Vamos a ver. One sentence only. Using both sentences combined, using either enough or two. You decide. There are the examples up here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just in case. Okay, is that better? Better. Okay, great. How many have watched Jeopardy? <laughs> Jeopardy. Okay. Teacher, yes, are we going to send you the answers? Yes, please. Okay. When you finish, please send it to me. Sorry, I forgot Teacher, to but where, uh, to, to me, what's up? No, or... to, me. to me, yeah, but where, I was up, yes, oh. on what's up, right? The same for the other activity. Okay. Okay, no problem. Thank you for asking, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Diana. Okay, you you missed a little bit of words there, but pretty good. Okay, can move to Fabio. Very good. And okay, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Hello. 
Okay, I see your message right here. Okay. Yeah, well, you okay, yes. Okay, as you can see here, it says change two sentences into one. Okay, so you have a combination of two sentences. For example, I'm very tired, I can't drive. So you join the two sentences with either using to or enough. I'm too tired to drive. That combines, I'm very tired and I can't drive. Okay. okay. We have to rewrite the two, the first two? No, no, only those were examples, all right? Okay. It's the okay. next three, the man isn't strong. Mm -hmm. He can't lift the heavy weight. That one and the next one, there's only three. Tom is scared and the coffee is hot. Okay. Thank right? you. All right. Join those two sentences and make one using enough or two. Either or. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beatriz, you didn't use both sentences. Yes, I'm going to send you again. And, and okay. Now, right now. Okay. Remember, there are three. Um, who sent me this right now? Miguel. Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Okay, there are three sentences. Son tres. Three. Yes. The man isn't strong. Oh. He can live. Right? There are three yeah, right here. Okay. Right. I okay. don't see the, the first one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. All right. Excuse me, teacher. All right, there are three, all right? There are three. Excuse me, teacher. In this moment, I'm writing. Okay, no problem. I write the, the five sentence, teachers. teacher. Okay, excuse me? I write, I, I wrote the, the five sentence, teacher. Okay, if you did, there's no problem, but I was only asking for the three. These, the first two were examples. The first two were examples, right? But if you wrote them, no problem. No problem, all right? No problem. Teacher, I, I send, send you my answer. Okay. Okay, Freddy's, you changed the, you changed the sentence. Uh, it, it's, it's good, but you were supposed to use the writing that is here, all right? But it, it is correct. That is like the opposite, right? You use the opposite. The same meaning, right? Teacher, excuse me. What about my sentence? The coffee is too hot. All right. Checking, yes, uh, you're next right here. I don't know. Let me see. Yes, you're next here on my. Teacher, do you have more exercise similar to last three? You're going to do them by, yes, we're going to do that in the next part. Okay. But you're going to do it without any help. You're going to create your own. So there won't be like, okay, this was easy. Then you had some help here and now you're going to do your own. All right. So yeah, that's coming up next. All right. Let me see. Jennifer, sure. you are correct. Jennifer, you're correct. I'm not um, sure about my answers. All right. Let me see. Carlos. You forgot yes, teacher. You forgot the adjective. You forgot the adjective in number one, right? When you use enough, you have to have the adjective before it. Right? You did you forgot the adjective. Okay, teacher. I'm gonna fix it. All right, great. Let me see. Okay.
I'm going to do the attendance. Time flies. Time flies. Let me see. Abigail. Abigail. Yes. Okay. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right. Blanca. Okay, no answer. Brenda? Okay, no answer. Present, present. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Carlos? Teacher, yes, can you hear I'm me? Here. I'm here present. Okay, thank you. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay, you, okay. Uh, Blanca. Thank you. Let me see Diana. Diana? Okay, no answer. Um, Edwin? Oh, I see your hand waving over there. <laughs> All right. I, we cannot hear you, Diana. I think you're talking, but we cannot hear you at all. Zero volume. Oh, but I put you here. I saw you waving at me. All right. I don't know. Your volume is, is at zero. Okay. Flor. Okay. No answer. Francisco. Presentation. All right. Great. Freddy's. I'm here. All right. Glenda? Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Iris? Present. All right, great. Jackie? Jackie? Okay, no answer. Present. All right, thank you. Um, Jarvin? Present. All right. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose? Okay, no answer. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Fabio. Present. All right. Rolando. I'm here. All right. And Janari. <coughs> Janari. Oh, there you are. Okay, I see you. Okay, I understand the connection is again. Ay, perdón. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Okay, yes, I put you down. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. You're good. You're good. All right. Now, let me put this right here. All right, can someone give me the first one, the first one, someone would like to share the first one, the man is, all right. The man is enough. The man isn't enough strong to mm. lift heavy weight. Mm. Strong enough? Excellent, strong enough. Because when we use enough, the adjective comes first, right? Okay. When we use to, the adjective comes after. So it's. The answer is the man isn't strong enough, strong enough to lift the heavy weight, right? The man isn't strong enough to lift the heavy weight. Okay, Diana. Can you hear me now? Yes. Ah, finally, okay. Finally. Um, Tom is too scared to sleep. Ah, very good. Tom is too scared, right? Two, then the adjective. Perfect. Two plus the adjective. Very good. Excellent. And the third one. Um, let me see. Jennifer, did you have your hand up? Or Carlos? Yes, okay, go ahead. The coffee is too hot to drink it. All right. Very good. Very good. The coffee is too hot to drink it, right? Very good. It's too hot. Two, then the adjective. And then you add the other two words. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. That, those were the answers, right? The coffee is too hot to drink it. Very good. Now, so we went from easy to a little challenging. And now, dun, 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 dun. Alguien estaba pidiendo algo aquí. Do you have any more? Aquí está. Yeah. Ya me la mente. You read my mind, right? I had it ready for you. And I just 
son cinco, ocho, trece, right? Thirteen, right? So there you go. Who, who asked me? ¿Quién fue la que preguntó? ¿O quién fue? Who was it? Was it Jackie? I think I recognize that voice. ¿Era usted, Jackie? Mm, I can. No, I didn't. It was Jennifer. Who was it? Who, who asked, like, teacher, do you have any more? Me, teacher. All right, Abigail. All yes. right, great. So here you have it, Abigail. Here you have it right here. And it says individual activity, create your own sentences using adjective plus enough. You have to, obligation, tienen que usar estas tres que les puse. The other two are your own. You can do your own. Strong, sweet, and healthy. All right? Using adjective, ya están aquí, three of the five, using enough. Then you're going to do three using uh, the verb plus enough. I drink or eat. Drink or eat, they come before the before enough. I eat or I drink enough. Can someone give me an example? Teacher, yes, for example, in the third part, uh, for example, we can say the, the donuts are too sweet to eat a lot. It's sweet enough, they're uh, like yeah. the same. Example ah, yes, from yes. the last activity. Yes. The yeah, man I, isn't I, I drunk enough. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yes. yes. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on now, right? We just okay. did like 50 questions, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right? We're using enough, all right? Don't forget that, okay? Remember, there's a difference between just using basic, just regular, simple present sentences then adding a little bit more with enough and the adjective, okay? You have to use okay. strong plus enough, just like the one we did earlier, right? Okay. Strong I, enough. I have, I have fixed my sentence. Uh, the donuts are so sweet enough to eat a lot. Are sweet enough, all right? Are sweet, sweet. enough. Remember, avoid using so, okay? Remember earlier I told you about so, avoid using so, okay? okay. And use these terminologies okay 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 carla that is my my advice okay but it's not incorrect just remember that when you use so try to avoid that common usage of that word okay okay and you're going to be fine you're going to be just fine if you use this structure okay and when we use a verb with enough we just put it before enough right for example, sure. if I tell you, Diana, you have to drink enough water. Right? Drink enough water, right? You have to drink enough liquids, right? You have to eat enough food to survive, right? <laughs> These are just three, right? This is just challenging, all right? Yes, Abigail. It doesn't matter the the tense of the verb. No, it no. Could be past, future, yeah. present. Yeah, present oh, perfect. Yeah, well. We saw we saw all types of sentences here, right? We saw. Look at here. Had hadn't. Where is it? Past perfect. Negative. Past simple past. Present perfect, have done. Yeah, you can use uh, present simple. You can use any tense, no problem. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, it. yeah, it's, it's just usage, word usage and grammar usage, that's all. Okay. And then the last one says, Use five using two plus the adjective. Pueden ver la otra actividad, son tres. There are three activities. The other one says five, five sentences using two plus adjective. And I gave you an example here. The hat is too big for him. Right? El sombrero está muy grande para él. Too big. Two 
plus the adjective. I gave you an example here, just in case you forgot. Okay, five of these. Okay, teacher, for example, if I say the car is fast and now win, that's right. Oh, for the ones enough? Yes, fast okay. enough, the car is fast say... enough to win, that is correct. Okay. Right, but remember, remember class, on the first one where it says here, you have to use these three that I put here, strong, sweet, and healthy. The other two, are your own, propios, your own. With the verbs here, verb plus enough, you have to use these two, drink and eat, and then the third one, your own. Usted propio puede poner cualquier verbo, whichever verb you want, but you have to use these two plus one more. And then the last one, five, you have to use five sentences using two plus an adjective. Y aquí les digo una. An example. The hat is too big for him. Do not use the sentences that we just did. Do not copy any of these. Okay? If you copy one of these, I will not accept it. So you will be doing it for... All you're doing is copying the same sentences. We're not going to do that. Okay? Can you... Oh. Yes, Diana, do you have a question? No, no, I just need you to put the other slide. This one? Yes. Okay. The other one. This one. That one, yeah. Now I want to ask you, do you want to do this in pairs or individual? Who wants to do it in pairs? Or you want to do it individually? If you want to do it in pairs, I can put you in pairs. And if you want to do it individually, you can stay here individually also. It's up to you. Who wants to do it in pairs? Okay, no one? All right, great. All right, do challenge yourself. That is awesome. You have about 10 minutes. Teacher. Yes, Jennifer. In, in the first uh, exercise, we have to use five times the same adjectives, or we mm. can use. No, 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 no. I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, Jennifer. Yeah. All right. Ah, because there is only three adjectives. That's yes. Right. Okay, three adjectives. You have to use these three, and the other two, they're going to be your own. Van a ser propias. Ah, okay. 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 Thank so you. So one sentence you're going to use strong. Sentence number two you're going to use sweet. Sentence number three you're going to use healthy. Sentence four and five are your own. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for thank asking. You so much. No problem. Any other questions? Do we have to send you mm -hmm. the exercise? Yes. Okay. This will be activity number seven. Let me write it on my notebook. Activity number seven, individual. Activity
<clears throat> okay. I'm doing this activity in uh, in class activity because tomorrow I will not I will not leave any homework. Okay. So you can have a good weekend. Hello, Beatriz. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> you see. I uh, <clears throat> I uploaded your grades, so I just want to let you know. You already did okay. the midterm. You already did the exam, also. Yes. Right, so I already put your grade there, and your sec and your homework number two also. Some of you already finished the homeworks, so I already put the grades. Right, I'm going to okay. <clears throat> I'm going to review it one more time after class to see if I have any more. But I already sent some um, some other grades. Juan well, Jose is not here, right? He finished also. All right. Let me see. Freddy's, I have a grade for you also. All right, for homework two. If you want to make it higher, you can always do that, okay? Same with Edis and Carlos. <clears throat> All right, Edis. Yes, teacher. All right, I already, I already put your grade on the, on the platforms or the homeworks on, on the platform. So, if you want to get a little bit higher, you can. But so far, it looks good. Right. So you finished the homework two already in the platform. Mr. Referendo a los tareas de la plataforma. All right. I'm good. Yeah, Carlos. Yes. Y ya mandé su nota. La suya también. Right. Usted ya terminó las tareas de la plataforma. All right. So thank you for that. Remember that by Wednesday, you're supposed to finish everything, the exam and the five homeworks that are on the, on the platform. No le van a estar llamando. But what I'm going to do on next week, I'm going to do a little bit of review of those homeworks, okay? So we can look at them and also the exam, all right? So I'm going to put some of those questions here and we can go over them together as a class activity also. All right. So if you want to modify it on that day, you can and your grade will be higher. Okay. Five minutes.
Okay, Diana, you finished the first part. All right. Okay, Fabio. You finished everything. Very good. Teacher, tell me about you can use um you can use um for example do or and now with be able yeah but you mm, okay give me an example right i don't because you're talking about okay for example uh we are be able mm, we are, be, we are able. be able we are um, be able that is Mm, that is uh, mm -mm. we we are able I, I yes yes <laughs> you're able mm -hmm. you're able uh, for example we are we are able smart to win we are able smart smart to win We are able, smart. Mm. No, that that is that is yeah. incorrect. Yeah. See, it, it doesn't sounds good, right? Yeah. No. Remember, we're using two and enough. Okay. You're using okay. other vocabulary. Remember, you you can say you can use. Why don't you use the structure here? Utiliza la estructura que he puesto aquí, mira. Si pones el to, ahí va bien. Yes. Y luego el, ad, el adjective. We are too, nosotros somos muy inteligentes, uh, right? Or intelligent, smart, sharp, y luego el complement. Yes. Okay, ahí sí. You, you can do it that way. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Okay, teacher. I'm I'm gonna to finish uh, the 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 end sentence, and I'm going to send you. All right, great. No problem. No problem. Okay, Carlos, do you see that sentence right there? Yeah. All right, you see what I, what I put right there? We are too smart to quit school, or you can say we are too smart to quit studying, right? I have, I have a sentence you. that we, we think too good to work here, for example. What happened? We think too good to work here. Okay, we think... Too good. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Too good. <laughs> all right. We sing too good and then the compliment. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Teacher, I have a question to you uh, for two plus ad adjective. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Is correct to say Messi is a soccer player too fast. Mm, te falta algo. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es? That's, a, that's too fast, right? That, that too fast. That's, that's. That's, that's yes. uh, all right. That's the only thing that you're missing. Messi is a soccer player. That that's too fast. Yes. Que es too rápido, right? Uh, Very good. You have it correct. Okay. You just needed that connector, right? Okay. That small connect. Very Thank good. Thank you. Very good. Teacher, what is the correct way to, to use verb plus and up? Okay, let me see. I'm going to challenge someone. Can someone give Blanca an example using I, verb I plus and up? I have one example, but, but I don't know if it's right. Okay, go ahead, Blanca. I, I have drink enough water for today. I have drank. drink. Drink. Drink, present perfect. I have drank enough. You use half, the auxiliary, right? I have drank enough water for today. That is correct. And I have the second one. You have eat enough mm -hmm. trash food. Present it, perfect. It's eat, uh, eaten. Yes, I va. There you go. Blanca, remember, okay. if you're going to use the, uh, a tense, you have to change this wording, eat to eaten, or ate, or eat, right? Whichever one, but yes. Okay. Very good, Blanca, perfect. We, we always have to make a present perfect? No. Uh, no. No, it depends and on how, how, you, how you formulate your, your sentence. Can you give me an example in simple present, please? Okay, I eat enough food every day. I okay. eat enough food every day. Yo como suficiente comida todo el día, right? So that I'm using present simple. Now I can use simple past. I ate enough food yesterday. Ya ves? Ah, y ahora present perfect. I have eaten enough food. Yo he comido suficiente comida. All right? Present perfect. Past perfect. I had eaten enough food. Right? That's past perfect. All right. Or you can use present present progressive or present continuous. Como los dos son igual. I am eating enough food at the moment. You see that, Blanca? Question, teacher. El present continuous or present progressive? Yeah, teacher. All right. Great. All right. Maybe a question, Tishan, with that. Ah, there you go. Question, right? Question, right? Very can good. You, can you eat enough food this day? All right. Can you eat enough food this day? All right. Or today? Yes. Today. Very good. Or you can say, are you eating? Are In you eating enough food? Está comiendo suficiente comida, right? Are you eating enough food? Right? You can make it a sentence. Or you can say WH word. Why aren't you eating enough food, right? You're losing weight, right? You can use WH words also. You can play with this. You can use all tenses in different structures. Thank you, Beatriz, for sharing that. Yes. You can make them in any way you want. Chair, how can I say uh, caceres del hogar? Chores. Of course. I'm going to spell it for you, okay? Yeah, please. All right. There you go. Chores. Oh, también le, se le llaman house chores. Okay? But when you say chores, you're talking about already, it's already understood, all right, that you're doing house chores, right? But you can, you can use the other word also, house chores. Significa deberes de las casas, right? No deberes del colegio. When you talk about school, the better you're talking about homework. 
Teacher, that is for education. Okay, if I say housework, you can say housework, but housework is trabajo de la casa. Ahí depende. If that's how you want to say it, right? Trabajo de la casa because you can do housework could include uh, fixing the toilet. It could include fixing the window. Eso va incluido en eso también, right? Uh, but house chores are those like sweeping, uh, trapeando, all those types of things, right? Uh, barriendo, sweeping, washing. Those are house chores, okay? Cleaning. When you get into a bath, you have to, to say get in, right? Get in, yes. You have to get in the shower, get in the bathtub. Bathtub is good. Dina. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Get in the bathtub, right? Yes. Francisco? Uh, yes, teacher. I have a question. Sure. Ask me, please. Okay. Is correct is I for... For the second exercise, for example, is correct. Say yesterday, yesterday my sister drank you no know, beer. Yes, my sister oh. drank enough. You know, yes, mm -hmm. enough. What did you say? So he said again, enough. What beers? Beer. Yeah, beers. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to verify that was correct. Yeah. All right, but it's correct. It's correct. Your sentence okay. is totally correct. All right. Okay. All right. Very Maybe good. All right. Let me see. Okay, class. I'm going to close this. And I just want you to look at something. I want you to be ready for tomorrow when we are going to talk about remember the marketing mix or we're going to talk about place and promotion okay place and promotion we're going to continue with place and promotion and the uh, the different strategies the different strategies and when are those strategies implemented in the product life cycle? So according to the product life cycle, right? Introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. You remember that? Okay, this is where we're going to look at that aspect in relation to promotion, right? Promotion, which was the last, which is the last part of the marketing mix, the four Ps. We're going to talk about place and promotion and the strategies, different methods and strategies for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be and now interesting to, to be early in, in the class. Yes, because what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to finish this part right here, and then it begins again with this um, uh, vocabulary here. We're not going to do this part, okay? Why? Because you're doing it here. This was more challenging, okay? This is related to this, but we're not going to do this because it only has one. No más da una forma, adjective and enough. And I, I made it a little bit more challenging with verb and enough and to and an adjective. So this one, we're going to do the vocabulary. This part right here, me pueden ver aquí. This part right here, we did that already. Ya hicimos todo esto, all right? Uh, the enough with the adjective. Pienso que fue suficiente with all this, all this that I showed you right now. So that pretty much takes this out of the box, this out of the box, 
and we're going to begin here tomorrow. And yes, okay. we're going to begin with this, do a little review. So I suggest that if you can enter early, please do so, all right? If you enter late, you normally miss all the, the instructions and the indications of what needs to get done. So yes, Carlos, please be on time. That will be fundamental, okay? okay? Because we're going to begin with this, do the review about the questions that you did today. I will send you your responses. I will stay up tonight and review those sentences that you send me. And I'm talking about this, okay? Because I have to write it down. I have to write it down uh, who did it, right? Quien lo entregó y quien no. Y quien hizo la actividad. All right? So this, I'm going to check it. Don't worry about that. And please review this part right here and page Page 21, page 21 and 22 of your module, okay? We're going to talk about promotional place, place and promotional tomorrow, combined. Okay, class, I hope you learned something new today. I hope it was a review to some of you, a little bit of practice, more vocabulary, a little more, more technical English, and not the usual basic part, okay? If you have any questions, remember, you can always contact me. In relation to the platform, recuerden si pueden avanzar en la plataforma, please do so, right? Eso ya está fuera de mi alcance, nomás es recordarles, right? Remember to finish your platform homeworks, okay? And some of you already finished. So you don't have to worry about it. All right, last um, attendance. Abigail. Present. All right. Beatriz. Present. All right, thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Hello, Blanca, I see I'm you. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Brenda. Brenda, okay, she didn't connect. All right, Carlos. I'm here to check. All right. Yes. Thank you. Diana. Present. All right. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. No answer. Flor. Flor. Okay. She didn't connect. All right. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right. Great. Freddy's. I'm here. All right. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. Iris. Present teacher. All right, great. Jackie. I'm here. All right. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jennifer. I'm here teacher. All right. Juan Jose. Okay, he didn't connect. Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. I'm here. All right, great. And Janari. I'm here. Okay, all right. So everyone have a great night. The person that stays is Glenda. I don't know if she's still here or not. And that will be the person that stays today. And tomorrow is Iris. Okay, tomorrow Iris, you stay. And Monday will be Jackie, Jackie. And then Tuesday will be Jarvin. Wednesday will be Jennifer. And Thursday, Juan Jose. And next Friday will be Miguel. All right. So have a good night, everyone. Take care. And I see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last day of the week. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank All right. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Great effort. Good night, Thank everybody. You, Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good